Well, folks, coming at you with an emergency video because we're hearing about GTA 6. The trailer could be coming out this year. And Bloomberg actually spoke with Rockstar Game Devs, and they're saying that the game is set for the next two years. And quickly after, oh, I'm shaking. started shaking. People are doing helicopters with their rulies. And let me tell you, man, we are also seeing a lot of people. A lot of people are angry, man. A lot of people are really mad right now because we're also hearing that this game could actually be woke. I'm not the one saying that. They are saying that we're going to be starting off with some good news and then we're gonna dive into some bad news so definitely hide your wives and we're gonna be covering everything about this game okay so if you're brand new hit the subscribe bell let's go for five likes on the video if you're excited because Jason Schreier ended up dropping this 20 megatons of article and he does talk about some of the woke stuff as well that we could be seeing uh, so much so that the homies like yo GTA, uh, GTA 6 woke edition but I want to talk about the good news first now apparently the homie Nibel he summarized everything like tick, 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 so I'll just let you straight up, let you know straight up that GTA 6 will also feature a playable female protagonist for the first time. She's a Latina that is one of a pair of leading characters influenced by Bonnie and Clyde. Damn, and this is something we actually talked about like a year ago from the homie Tom Henderson when a lot of people were kind of doubting. A lot of people were like, nah, I mean, that, that's not true. We're never going to have a female protagonist. And a lot of people are kind of kind of angry, man. A lot of people are kind of mad, man. Listen, bro, like, you guys don't like Bob's and Vagana? Listen, man, I love it, okay? Even though I'm on no fit, but I kind of I kind of like it. I don't think that's a big deal. Now, surely, we're also hearing that there will be a male protagonist. I know some of you will be like, yo, thank God, man. Thank, thank God, finally, we're going to have it. They're not going to go full of woke. And listen, having a female character, that's not woke, man. Uh, apparently, according to studies, according to, you know what I mean? You go outside and you're going to find women. You're going to actually find it. They exist in real life crazy okay shocker but at the end of the day most people are really worried that they're gonna be you know going into the unrealistic scenarios and they're gonna really stretch the story or make it somehow woke i totally understand that and i'm with you on that one right like if they really make this game that is like you know really woke heavy where it's just not making sense they're really getting away from uh, the gta essence then then yeah surely I, I i agree with you right but i don't think that's necessarily a problem there's another problem which i feel like is a real problem which will we're gonna I get to but apparently some more Grand Theft Auto 6 details working title Project America yep another leak yep that was one of the leaks that we have been hearing for the last 20 billion years but by the looks of it it is true I always believe that leak and yeah we have seen some changing information from that title because project america leak has been so old at this point that stuff is gonna get changed right because previously we did hear that it's gonna be set in the 70s in the 80s and now we're hearing that it's gonna be modern time and main location is a fictional version of miami plus its surrounding areas game will evolve over time adding new cities bro that is massive okay like listen man that is crazy and the homie tom actually did say that it's online mode which might actually be just GTA Online that we currently have that will be ported over to GTA 6. I'm just assuming, but the homie Tom did say that and we covered this leak a year ago at this point, which people, some believe, some did not, which is perfectly fine. After all, we're talking about GTA 6, but it's gonna have new new cities. Dude, that's massive, okay? I, I do feel like that this is gonna be PS5 and Series X and PC only. I can see maybe the story mode alone be on last gen, but if they're, if they're gonna be porting GTA, online over then that it can actually be on last gen as well the game world is already large more interior locations than previous gta games which is actually another w you know another w i do like it me me very gusta with that okay me gusta but some of the changes at rockstar games since 2018 uh, more producers help to avoid uh, crunch which is actually really good schedule changes so i'm not sure what this means like uh, was gta 6 supposed to come out like uh, early in 2019 2020 or does this mean that it was supposed to come out in 2077 and now they're like yo we gotta we gotta work hard okay we gotta we gotta drop this game fast we're not entirely sure with that 
uh, conversion of contractors to full-time employees so you know what another W removal of abusive employees you know the the, the employees uh, that might be doing helicopters with their rules that we have seen this problem in uh, Ubisoft in Activision like you know employees want to do helicopters with their rules they want to do Easter eggs with the baddies without mutual consent and they, you, you, you know what I mean right so it might be that or it might be just uh, you know uh, hey man uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I'm the bigger man out here you know there are definitely people like that so it might be actually talking about it uh, like you're wrong I'm I'm always right I'm always right you're wrong you know employees like that a uh, new mental health and leave benefits Damn. staff is more flexible with their time so there is that and then the homie Bob was like uh, any clue on release it uh, from the article devs expect the game to be at least two years away and a lot of people are really shaken but you also have comments like this which is actually really hilarious but god damn uh, in some games you have an option uh, th uh, this is one of those words that I really cannot say on YouTube I can but I'll get hit uh, just add an option to walk on and off and yeah man like okay 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 and I feel like that's a really good uh, really good feature now let's talk about the wokeness okay is gk6 really gonna be woke uh, let's actually find out because the homie jason schreier says that rockstar overhaul started in 2018 when staff called out its culture of crunch bullying and frat house uh, antics the company has oust manager accused of abuse and promised to cut down on overtime one employee calls it's a boys club transformed into a real company damn and he's quoting that Rockstar remove, uh, you, you know, I, I won't be able to say words like that on YouTube, jokes from the most recent re-release of GTA 5 and quietly cancelled an online mode called Cops and Crooks after the, uh, after these, uh, I, 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 sorry guys, I really cannot say these words on YouTube, yep, uh, if you, I, I still feel like that YouTube is better than Twitch, but we're, we're not quite there just yet, okay, so I gotta, I, I gotta, I, I cannot say it, man, uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 will have a female Latina for protagonist the first playable woman in modern rockstar history damn and the woke part here is that they yup they actually canceled now i do understand that this is maybe i understand maybe i'm saying i understand that because i'm in canada we always say sorry after every sentence is but even canada is kind of like you know they're having some problems with their yeah you know what i mean but but at the end of the day like damn son so yep that's like one part of the wokeness production on gta 6 has been slower than expected largely due to the erroneous situation Situation, make sure you guys are washing your hands before smashing the like button uh, but also due to these changes as employees grow accustomed to working at this new rockstar but many say morale is higher than ever which is good to hear but surely the stuff that is you can call woke is that yep uh, they are changing stuff and we're hearing that th this game might be less satirical this game might be a little bit different from the past GTA games and I've seen two uh, two two groups of people there's one that says that you know yeah you might say GTA 5 has those hysterical uh, jokes like the bad kind of jokes or the ed edgy edgy jokes and uh, people are saying that I don't remember I don't play GTA for for those type of jokes I just want to fly jets around I want to fly cars I, I just want to play the story I want to play the online enjoy my time and there are other there's other group that that's like bro like I care for GTA hysterical jokes I care for the edginess because that's what I grew up with and that's like Rockstar's identity so both people are in the right so I, I do I, I do feel like that whenever they drop this game it's gonna sell like hotcakes this rare look inside Rockstar games are, uh, and the development of GTA 6 is based on interviews with more than 20 people who either worked there or left very recently damn so this is uh this is as real as uh ufos flying over your head you never know man so let me know your thoughts uh, click on this video on the screen we got some massive gta 6 news and also a ton of gaming news click on it at uh, gta everywhere you ever heard about that game yep you're gonna uh, click here and you're gonna find out subscribe